Students at the University of Washington holding a vigil to, quote, honor the martyrs of Palestine. On October 17th, Al Ahli, a hospital that's been in operation since 1882, was bombed to ash and rubble. Biden, hear my words very carefully. The quote other team is not to blame. Your and Israel's hands are covered in blood. What is happening right now is a planned and vile attempt at completely erasing Palestine and the Palestinians. Radio host Ari Hoffman was holding a speech at the University of Washington at the very same time as that event, and he joins us now. Ari, good morning to you. How did your speech go, and what did you see? Thank God the speech went okay. A couple of activists were around. They weren't too much trouble. My friend Jonathan Cho came to the event. He was showing me the footage you guys were just showing your audience. And what it was was literally a vigil for terrorists. Now, I was on the University of Washington campus last week when they had this big rally, this big march for Hamas, when they were literally chanting, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. And they mean free of Jews. They want all Jews out of the land. I had people literally tell me to my my face, that they were celebrating the fact that babies had their heads cut off in that invasion in Israel. What you saw happening tonight on campus, this vigil for these terrorists, was about trying to reclaim October 7th, not as a day where 1,400 Israelis, 1,400 Jews were massacred. They're trying to make it something about the Palestinians. And they're doubling down on the same fake narrative about this hospital being bombed that Rashida Tlaib is spewing. One thing that I find interesting with all these protests, including yours, is the number of people who claim in these protests that they are Jewish. Are they actually Jewish? What percentage would you say are actually Jewish? Are they? <clears throat> Well, I got to say, the ones I spoke to that said they were Jewish were definitely not. I asked them very basic questions that any Jew of any religious level would know, and they didn't know the answers to any of them. Very simple questions. It's just like how anybody can identify as anything these days. These people think, since this is an entire intersectional mix of people, that they can identify however they want, and by identifying as Jewish, this gives them some kind of legitimacy. So that's what they do. But they don't actually know anything. The people we saw in inside the Capitol the other day, a whole bunch of them, they're wearing prayer shawls, they're wearing them incorrectly. They're blowing shofars, the Jewish ritual horn, they're blowing it incorrectly. They don't actually know what they're doing. They're doing it because they think it gives them legitimacy. Yeah, and uh, one of the Israelis who was murdered in the terror attack was a University of Washington PhD student. His name was Chaim Katzman. We interviewed his brother last week, and Chaim was working on a peaceful resolution between Israel and Palestine. So I wonder if you ask these protesting students how they feel about his death, what they would say. I did ask some of them, and they all refused to condemn Hamas as a terrorist organization. They all refused to acknowledge what happened to that kid. That kid had relatives that go to my synagogue. Our community is very close. Every single Jew has been touched by this. Everybody knows somebody who died, or somebody who was kidnapped, or somebody who's on their way to fight, or somebody who's being called up right now, or somebody who's living in a bomb shelter. There's so few Jews in the world. We're less than one-tenth of one percent of the world's population. We all know somebody, at least by one degree of separation. This affects all of us, and every Jew is hurting right now. And I got to say, the fact that the kids from Turning Point USA showed up to defend the Jewish students on campus, even when the kids from Turning Point USA weren't Jewish, mm -hmm. that they showed to defend and document what was going on really meant the world to all of us. Understood. You'd expect two weeks in, people in a university would know the facts of the situation, but clearly they don't care about the facts. They only care about their ideology. Not talking about TP. USA talking about the other students. Ari, thank you thank for you.